Hi, this is Christian, and welcome back to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, conference championship game predictions. Who's taking home the George S. Hallis Trophy? It's the Los Angeles Rams, the two seed. The gateway to the West, can they make it all the way to the Super Bowl down in Atlanta, Georgia, as they take on the number one seeded New Orleans Saints? Now for the Rams and Saints, it was a different story for the divisional round. The Rams, the away team in this game, well, they had a pretty solid, convincing performance against the Dallas Cowboys, and their rushing attack was amazing. Both CJ Anderson and Todd Gurley ran for over 100 yards and reached the end zone. And it was a pretty, pretty convincing win. I'm definitely feeling confident about the Rams going into this matchup against a New Orleans team that, well, they struggled. I mean, the Eagles had their number for at least a half. And I mean, it took until the end of the third quarter before the Saints had the lead for good. But it's really been the last month or so where the Saints quite haven't been up to par compared to where they were in the first half of the year where they were destroying teams by 30, 40, 50 points. And I know that's a pace that is pretty much impossible to keep up with, but still, it's pretty shocking the way the Saints haven't been able to score the football as much as they did. Are teams starting to figure them out? Well, we'll definitely see in this matchup. The Rams' defense played a lot better, and that was one of their big bugaboos, evidenced by the Kansas City Chiefs versus Rams game uh, in L.A., where they gave up over 50 points. And I mean, we just kind of knew if they were going to make it to the Super Bowl, their defense would have to shore up, and they had a great performance against Dallas. Now, for the keys for each team to win this game, well, for the Saints, Michael Thomas is going to have to have a day. Against the Eagles, he had a great game, going for 171 yards and a touchdown. But look, as we look back to their last matchup, he had 12 receptions for 211 yards and a touchdown there. And, I mean, honestly, the Saints just dominated that game. It was a 10-point game, but, I mean, the Rams had to come back. And, I mean, it was pretty much Saints the whole way. The Rams tied it up, but the Saints pulled away at the end. I mean, Kamara caught a touchdown, ran the ball very well, had two touchdowns in that one. And so the Saints, real, I think they have their number. But I feel like this game is going to be a lot more closer, um, not only on the scoreboard, but also in the stats category. And for the Rams, well, it's pretty apparent their rushing attack is going to have to steal the show. C.J. Anderson and Todd Gurley, who had a great performance in the divisional round, both 100 yards, and they're going to have to do it again. So who am I going to pick in this one? Well, I want to pick the Rams, but it's just super tough to pick against the Saints at the Superdome. So in a very narrow contest, I predict Drew Brees, Sean Payton, the New Orleans Saints to head to Super Bowl 53. It's a battle for the AFC. Who's going to Super Bowl 53? As the number two seeded New England Patriots, 12 and five, take on the number one seeded Kansas City Chiefs at 14 and three. Now, about midway through the season when these teams collided, in Gillette Stadium, it was pretty apparent that they would probably meet up again for the AFC Championship. Maybe the Chargers could sneak in or the Ravens as a wild card, but as we've seen, that didn't happen. And here we go, the two best teams in the AFC take flight and the winner gets a trip to Atlanta for the Super Bowl. Now for the Patriots, it's more of the same. They've been in the AFC Championship time and time again. This is nothing new for Tom Brady. Tommy, terrific, Bill Belichick, Rob Gronkowski, and crew. Now for the Chiefs, this is new territory for them. Alex Smith couldn't get the job done, but Patrick Mahomes is trying to infuse some new energy and life into Arrowhead as they host their first ever AFC Championship game in the modern era, and it should be a great matchup here. Now the Chiefs defense, that was their big issue coming into the playoffs, but boy did they impress against a top MVP candidate and Andrew Luck for Indianapolis. And well, they pretty much shut them down. Now for the Patriots, they really impressed me. I mean, I didn't think they, I, I did predict that they would beat the Chargers, but I didn't expect it to be that much of a domination. The final score doesn't indicate how bad the Chargers got their break speed off of them. But the Patriots, time and time again, say, don't doubt us. And against the Kansas City Chiefs, it's going to be a tough game. Patrick Mahomes can put up 30, 40, 50 points on a consistent basis, especially they're at home. They have a lot of momentum right now, getting that monkey off their back after winning their first playoff game at home in so long. And 
I mean, it's going to be a tough game. The Patriots will come to play. There's not going to be any pressure because they know how it feels to be in an AFC championship, and the Chiefs do not. I mean, Andy Reid does, the head coach, but this is a relatively young roster. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, of course, Damian Williams, who's filling in for Spencer Ware, and of course, Kareem Hunt. Um, so it's definitely going to be a pretty interesting game. Will experience win out on the Patriots end, or will the youth full infusion of the Chiefs get the job done. Now, I mean, Julian Edelman, he had a huge game against the Chargers, and if he can do that again against the Chiefs defense, the Patriots certainly have a shot to win this game. Likewise for Tyreek Hill, if he can get past the Patriots secondary, it's going to be a long game for the Patriots. We saw the last time Tom Brady played at Arrowhead, it wasn't pretty. Now, if we look back to the last matchup between these two teams, it was pretty apparent that they were going neck and neck. Now the Patriots did have a 21 to 9 lead at halftime in Gillette the last time they played. Um, but that's at home for the Patriots and the Chiefs have played extraordinary at home. But I do expect it to be pretty close all the way through. Uh, the Chiefs, I mean their offense is incredible. But their defense just is lacking. We saw last week they've improved but against Tom Brady it's going to be their biggest task yet. Now who do I have winning this game? Well the Patriots are shooting for their third straight Super Bowl appearance, but I feel like the Chiefs have been the best team all season long, and I'm going to ride the momentum as Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes the second, and the rest of the Kansas City Chiefs defense head to Super Bowl 53. The player of the week is running back for the Los Angeles Rams, C.J. Anderson. Now what a season it's been for him. He's been all over the place. I mean, we look back in April of 2018, and Anderson was released by the Broncos after his five-season stint there, winning Super Bowl 50, then played for Carolina for a little bit before McCaffrey took over, and then they cut him to get another opportunity. The Raiders had him for about a week and then cut him, and C.J. Anderson thought his season was over until the Rams signed him. And with the Rams, he has been incredible. In fact, in the last three games, He's had 422 yards on the ground with four rushing touchdowns. It's been a revelation for C.J. Anderson, and he could very well help them into the Super Bowl and maybe win L.A. and give them a Lombardi trophy. For the divisional round recap, we have the Chiefs and the Colts with the Chiefs dominating that game in the snow, 31-13. Then the next game a Saturday night game between the Rams and Cowboys. A pretty hotly contested game with the Rams winning that one 30-22. Then the Patriots and Chargers. The Patriots dominated that. They were up as many as 31 in a rout over the Chargers 41-28. And then finally the Saints edge out the defending Super Bowl champions 20-14 to cap off a great divisional round weekend.